Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can mute and unmute your video in Unity. So just a heads up, this is part of a series of tutorials. There's an eye up in the corner for the playlist, there's also going to be an eye up in the corner for the previous episode of this tutorial. In that tutorial, we added a pause and resume button. In this tutorial, we'll be adding a mute and unmute button. So, this is what we have. We can pause and resume it whenever we want. Just a heads up as well, this is going to work in WebGL because we are using the streaming assets folder and a raw image. This will work on all other platforms Unity can export to as well, don't worry. Let's get into it. So our setup has a vid player object which has a video player and a script called vid player. We're going to open the vid player script and we're going to go to the bottom of it and we're going to create a new function. We are going to do public void toggle mute. So we're going to call this function when we click our mute unmute button. And inside we're going to do if video player, this is referencing our video player object up here. And basically this checks if it exists. If it exists, then let's go and mute and unmute it. If it doesn't exist, don't do anything. And inside we're going to do bool, is muted equals video player dot get direct audio mute zero and then we're going to do video player dot set direct audio mute zero and exclamation mark not is muted so what does this code do well basically the boolean is going to basically get the current status of the current audio track of the video that we want to mute or unmute so i've only got one audio track in this video which is the default. So we're going to be passing in a zero, but maybe you have different, maybe you have like background music in your video and maybe then some sound effects and you just want to mute for background music or the sound effects. You can do that. It's a bit more complicated, but you can do that with this code. However, we're going to be using the default track, track zero, and we're going to basically get if it's muted or not. Then we can do video player dot set direct audio mute. The track we want to mute and then whether or not we want to mute it or not and we can just do exclamation mark is muted to do the opposite of this because that's how you do the opposite of a boolean you put an exclamation mark in front of it and that's all the code we have to do so save your work return to unity and in your canvas go right click go to ui go to legacy and then go to button if you're in an older version of unity the button button will be found here. But if you're in modern versions, it's going to be in the legacy. Let's change the size to be something like 400 by 60. We're going to move it down to the bottom left of the screen. We're going to change the text to be mute slash unmute. We're going to make the font a little bit bigger. And then we're going to go back to the button. We're going to change the color of the button to be somewhat transparent so we can see the video behind it. Then we're, we're on for the on click stuff here, you need to click on the plus, drag the vid player object. Then where it says no function, click, then go to vid player, then go to toggle mute, which is tucked away all the way down here. After that, save your work and let's hit play. As you can see, we can toggle it. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.